Okay, our last section is over solving systems of linear equations, and this is over the word application, meaning where would we actually use this in real life? And so I have a actual word application for you here. Four large cheeseburgers and two chocolate shakes cost a total of $7.90. Two shakes cost 15 cents more than one cheeseburger. What is the cost of a cheeseburger and what is the cost of a shake? So this is a real life example because you can send your friend or a kid to the concession stand with so much money and they come back with so much change but not tell you what the cost of these items are. Well, you can figure out these costs solving the system of equations just like we've been doing in the last couple examples. So the first step here is to set up your system of equations. And the second step is, of course, to solve it, to figure out what the cost of each of these items are. Okay. This is where I suggest that you pause the video and see if you can do this one on your own. All right. So the first equation to set up is pretty much easy. Okay. You might use X and Y just because that's what we're used to. I suggest that you use variables that are associated to the problem. So I'm going to use C for cheeseburgers, and I'm going to use S for shakes. Now, some people might not look like S's because they look like fives, so if you want to use something else, that's fine, but those are the two variables that I'm going to use. Okay, my first equation is exactly what it says. Four cheeseburgers and two shakes cost $7.90. And so therefore, we have the first equation. That one's pretty straightforward. Okay, the second one, two shakes cost 15 cents more than one cheeseburger. So this one might be a little bit more difficult because it's not in the standard form that we're used to seeing the equation, where we have our first variable, our second variable, and then the answer. But we're going to set up the equation like it reads, and then if we need to, we can manipulate it into this format. So two shakes. Two shakes cost or are equivalent to 15 cents more than one cheeseburger. So if I take a cheeseburger and I add 15 cents to it, that's going to be equivalent to the cost of two shakes. All right, I have my system of equations, and now all I need to do is compare it or rearrange it if that's what you want to do. You can, in fact, skip that step especially if you're going to do the substitution method. But if you are one of those anal retentive students that feels like you need to set it up all proper, there you go. All I needed to do was move the cheeseburger over to the other side. So two shakes minus the cost of the cheeseburger is equivalent to 15 cents. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do this one by substitution. I think the easiest thing to solve for is the C. So let G just move this 15 cents to the other side. So my cheeseburger is equivalent to two shakes minus my 15 cents. Then let me plug that into the second equation. So I'm going to plug it into here. Four times 2S minus 15 plus 2s is equal to 7.90. Distribute my 4. That gives me 8s minus 60 cents plus 2s is equal to $7.90. Combine my shakes. So that gives me 10 shakes. Add 60 cents to both sides. That gives me $8.50. And 50 cents. If I divide by 10, that gives me the cost of a shake is 85 cents. So now I can put that back into one of the original equations and that will give me the cost of the cheeseburger. If you do it by substitution, it's always easiest to plug it back into that equation. So the cost of a cheeseburger is 2 times my 85 cents minus 15. So 2 times 0.85 is 1.7 minus my 15 cents gives me the cost of a cheeseburger is $1.55. And so we have what we're looking for, the cost of a cheeseburger.
cheeseburger, $1.55, and the cost of the shake, $0.85. Cents. Again, if you want to make sure that your math is correct, you can substitute these back into the original equation, or you can put them back into the word problem, and you can see, do they actually make sense? They do in this case, so we have our final answer. And so this finishes up solving systems of equations by using the substitution or elimination method and by checking using the graphing method either by hand or by using the graphing calculator.